Hey team, Emily Roberts here. So excited about this because this is totally not my cup of tea. This is John Creamy. He is my corporate liaison or coach as most of you guys know. And he is going to walk us through the dreaded scary Excel reports. Because here's the thing, they're not that scary. He has a little two minute guide on how to find your top 20%, your top enrollers. And that's simply by exporting this report into Excel and he's going to show you exactly what that means. All right, take it away, John. All right, everyone. So I am really excited to show you all how to do this for a while. When I was running the uh, top and roller reports for a lot of the ambassadors I work with, it took a lot of manual work. Uh, we would have to kind of sit there, count how many sponsors everyone had, and then find out how many subscriptions were turned on on uh, that whole process. And it took a lot of work, but we found out a way to identify this in about a three click step. So what you need to do first, and I'm not sharing this part on the video just for privacy for whoever's account we're using on this, but uh, go into your back office, download your detailed genealogy for whatever month. Now, once you've downloaded your detailed genealogy, you've got it pulled up. We're going to go ahead, and now I'm gonna share a screen. You're going to see your Excel report. Now I've switched up the emails, taken addresses out, so it might look a little bit different than this, but here is our detailed genealogy. Now, what we wanna do right here, I have it already filtered, so it's only this year, but let's say that we want to look at this month's top enrollers, or we'll do the last three months. So the very first step, and this is kind of the bread and butter in any Excel report that you're doing, I am clicking on this one up here, and it highlights that entire top column. So what I'm gonna do after this is I'm going to click on this sort and filter. Now it looks like this little gas funnel. That's always all, I've always remembered it. Visual person, if you can just remember the little gas funnel, click on that, click on filter. Now what we wanna do, so when we scroll, because we all hate losing that top, that top column, you wanna keep that top column highlighted, come over to view, freeze panes, and freeze the top row. Now, as you can see, when I scroll, we don't lose the name, ID number, any of that information. Now, what we're gonna do is come over to this upgrade date. Now, whenever you want to identify some of your top enrollers, always use the upgrade date because sometimes if they have a join date, that can mean that they joined as a customer, but when they upgraded, that is when they officially became an ambassador. So always use the upgrade date. Now, what I'm gonna do is click on that little filter, hide the rest of the months. So what we want to look at is our enrollments from, let's say, September, October, and November. All right, so here we have all of our enrollments. What I'm going to do is copy this information. So highlight it, copy. I'm going to create a new sheet down here. Now I'm pasting this. So in the sheet, all we have are enrollments from the past few months. Now here is how we're going to identify our top enrollers. And you can do this without throwing in any of those filters if you just wanna do a general of all time, see who our top enrollers are. But we're going to click on this square up here. See how it highlights the entire sheet? Everything is highlighted now. What I'm going to do is come to insert, click on pivot table. Now it's going to come up and usually it's always just a kind of general thing. You just gotta click okay, but always make sure that you have these two highlighted. Select table arrange and new worksheet. Click okay. Now you'll see right here that we have no information, but over here on the right, we have all this information. So what I wanna do is scroll down and, oh no, right here, sponsor name. So we're going to drag sponsor name down to rows. Now we have our sponsors for the month, but we wanna see how many enrollments they got. So we're going to take sponsor name once again from this list and put it into values. So now we can see how many enrollments each one of these sponsors got for that time period. Now, if you wanna take this a step further, we're going to take um, subscription, all right, we're seeing next subscription. There should be a, uh, maybe we didn't copy the whole thing, but uh, there should be a subscription uh, on system. But if we take that and put it down to rows, we can see right here when the next subscriptions are going to run. And we'll do this example one more time, kind of getting rid of that whole filter section in the beginning, just to get this pivot table one, one more time down. Now we can see our top enrollers. What I'm going to do 
if you want to sort to see who had the most enrollments, right click on this top one where Alec Clark, he got one enrollment that during that time, we're going to right click, sort, sort largest to smallest. So now we can see that Samantha Ward, she had the top enrollments. We can see when those remaining subscriptions are going to be run from her enrollments. Carl Robinson's coming in next. He had five enrollments during that time frame, so he's our second top enroller. So right here, that's an easy way to identify those top enrollers. Now, let's go back one more time and redo this whole pivot table, and let's do it for the entire year. You want to do that? All right. So I'm just going to delete these sheets. Okay. Now, if you're ever playing around with filters and you want to go back to kind of your blank slate, come up here to sort and filter and click on clear. This removes any filters that you might have on your report. So now that we're back and we have all of our 2018 enrollments, let's find out who our top enroller is of the entire year. So once again, we're clicking on this corner square to highlight the entire uh, sheet. Next, click on insert, go to pivot table, click OK. Now we're back at this screen. So we're taking sponsor name, putting it down into rows. Once again, we take sponsor name and put it into values. And we can see those values once again. Let's see if our subscription showed up this time. Okay, here we go. So right here, subscription status on. This is what you wanna grab and throw it down into the values. Now you can see, oh, you know what, that one, just kidding, don't throw it into values because you'll see that those numbers match up 100% every time. But if you take this into rows, now we see the no's and yeses of, all right, Alec Clark, he had 10 enrollments, six of those signed on with no subscription, four signed on with a subscription. Now, once again, if we wanna sort this, we're gonna right click on that, largest to smallest, and boom. Once again, Samantha up on top, she had 27 enrollments. We can see that 14 signed up without a subscription, 13 signed on with, so about a 50-50 split. Now, that right there is the easiest way to find your top enrollers in just a few clicks. Just remember that pivot table and dragging those sponsor's name to the right, uh, right columns. If you try this a few times, it doesn't work out, always feel free to come back to this video. Remember which ones we have to drag to where because those pivot tables can be a little uh, confusing when we're first trying to play with these, but once you get in the habit of it, click on it a few times, uh, you'll get the hang of it and it will become second nature to you for running those top and roller reports. All right, Emily, I know that was your first time seeing how to do that. What are your thoughts on it? I have kids running around, but I feel like I just learned that it's really not that hard. It's kind of simple. We just got to practice, right? Practice makes perfect. Thank you so much for kind of showing us the way because I know this is something that we've all been really wanting. So I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Best of luck, everyone. Let's close out November incredibly strong. Get ready for an amazing December. And uh, I'm sure we'll chat with you soon.